Happy New Year's, everybody. Welcome to 2020. Um, this is actually like the 10th time I've tried recording this video. I'm getting over this weird cold flu thing. Um, it's like this biblical plague just swept through the whole region and everybody I know is sick. Um, so I'm just going to push through it. You may hear me cough. I may lose my voice a little bit, but I'm tired of like trying to record this. We're just going to push through it. So 2019 has been a year. Wow. seems like just yesterday I was recording the Welcome to 2019 video. So what have I been doing? Well, I've been working a lot. I'm usually making this face. Um, I consider myself a good employee, and I've got promoted a few times, but those promotions come with a lot of responsibility. They have not come with a dog. Man, that'd be great if I had an office dog. Uh, but usually I'm making this face or this face. Um, I'd love to make that face, but clearly she's on some kind of medication, or she needs to be. I'm not sure which. Um, one of the other major things I've done is, well, I got married. Uh, didn't think I'd ever get married. Uh, a lot of people have said, hey, congratulations. There have been some cynical people. You know, women are just after money, that sort of thing. But I think I found a really good good woman in my life, and uh, we get along really, really well. And I truly love her. So fast forward 10 years from now if i'm still married great if not well i'll look back at this video and i'll have this smile right here this guy's making that's not me in this picture by the way um this is me right here but nope this is my actual wedding photo and this is the darling woman that i have married um as you can tell i have lost some hair since my previous photo as this handsome dashing man no anyways um i've also just been trying to unplug as you can see from this picture of me singing into a fish why do i have this photo out on facebook anyways i've just been trying to get off the computer a little bit more um it seems like i spend most of my time again sitting at a computer doing this so just trying to get outside of my head um also home repair it seems like every five minutes i'm fixing something around the house i mean i actually have one of these little belts with all the tools on it and everything so that's also just been a big part of my life is just keeping up with the house and that sort of thing. Haven't gotten to this point yet, but probably soon. Um, also really, really been trying to grow Void Realms. I think we've gained maybe like a thousand members this year. It's just, we've grown ridiculously fast. Um, I love this group. You guys are great. If you're in the Void Realms group and you're watching this, you guys completely rock. I can go in here any time, day or night, ask any kind of question and boom, four or five people are answering from all over the globe. I mean, I've asked everything from uh, Windows server issues to Linux to video recording issues to what virus scanner do you use? Um, just a really great group of folks. And if you haven't, definitely join up. Also started another group called Biz Realms. Um, this is designed not so much towards technology. Void Realms is technology. Biz Realms is, well, about business. It's a much smaller group. It's just started up, and we're being really picky about who gets into this group. Um, this is really designed for either uh, professional business people or entrepreneurs or business owners. Um, we really don't want, you know, like Joe, the help desk guy who thinks he's going to be a millionaire. We want people that we can actually network with and work with on a professional level. The other thing that I've really, really been hyper-focused on is Udemy. I've been working on taking the bulk of my cute courses. Why do I have a Thanksgiving playlist or a theory playlist? I got to go in and get rid of some of these playlists. Uh, but anyways, you can see I've got 187 videos out in the cute playlist. And I've been working on re-recording those with the newer version of cute. And yeah, I'm losing my voice. See, it's that black plague that's going around town. But I've been re-recording Cute, and it's gotten some good reviews, so I think I've been kind of fortunate. Also did some Flutter. Um, Dart and Flutter, I actually think this is a this is something you need to watch in the future, folks. Um, if you haven't checked out Dart and Flutter, you really should. It's I think once it matures, it's going to overtake a lot of languages. If you're into Java, be afraid. I know a lot of folks are laughing going, ah, Java's never going anywhere. Do not underestimate the power of Google. Um, Dart is really just coming out swinging, and they're doing some pretty awesome things with Flutter. Point in case, losing my voice again, sorry. I learned a pretty hard lesson on Udemy. I made all these Dart and Flutter courses, six of them in total, and then, of course, Google went and they changed the API. So now some of this stuff is broken, and I've got to go back and re-record stuff. I've spent a lot of my time this year 
focusing on these courses and going back and updating the source code. Um, unfortunately, do the math, each one of these takes me about two months, so that's about an entire year of recording right there. Um, I've got to go back and re-record all this. And I'm just looking at, you know, do I want to keep the level of detail that these courses had? Because these are some pretty big courses. So I'm also looking at re-recording all these. Um, and just kind of in the spirit of things, I want to start posting back on U Void Realms YouTube channel. I haven't really had a chance to. Um, but I try to, every time I make a course, I take a couple of videos and I encode them specifically for YouTube. But I definitely miss the whimsical nature of YouTube of just recording something, no edits, and just throwing it right up there. Um, kind of miss that. So what's in store for 2020? Well, hopefully getting my voice back. I think I've lost it four times so far. Um, chicken soup is in store for me. But anyways, QML. I am going to be going into Udemy, and I'm going to be making an entire QML course, Beginners, Intermediate, and Advanced. It's going to be structured just like I have the cute core series of Beginners and Intermediate and Advanced. You see, I've already got cute widgets out there. I'm going to put an intermediate and advanced cute widgets out there too, but I kind of want to switch gears and do QML. I had a lot of a lot of folks say, hey, start with QML, not cute widgets. So I think the widget series is going to be more for maintaining legacy apps where QML is going to be more for moving into the future. And of course, like I said, Flutter. I'm going to be redoing all the Flutter videos. Might not get to them all in 2020. It might be a 2021 because right at the very end of this year, Qt6 is going to be coming out. And when Qt6 comes out, QML is going to have a major overhaul. Qt, as a company, is usually very good at backwards compatibility, but I got a feeling the hard lessons I've learned with these Flutter things where I have to go back and re-record that anything I do with QML, I'm going to have to re-record also. So anyways, long-winded version. Basically, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to do a QML, Beginners, Intermediate, Advanced, but they're going to be designed for the current version. I think it's Qt 5, uh, 5.12, I think it is. Anyways, and then I'm going to freeze it. And then once Qt 6 comes out, I'm going to redo QML for the newest version of Qt. So there'll be a lot of QML courses out here. So that, in a nutshell, has been my year and what I've been doing and where I plan on going. It's been a wild ride. I'm going to take probably about a week or two off and just get over this cold flu thing. Man, this thing just hit me hard. And the wife told me today she's not feeling too good. So might have to nurse her back to health. Anyways, happy new year. See you in 2020. Thank you for watching.